I welcome you to Zibeji's blog. Today's gist is about Mrs. Dara Simi. She spoke about the reason why she married her husband. Watch this and enjoy. Battle acts. God bless you. So just tell us two things you're looking for in, in your man. If you're married, you were looking for. If you are not yet married, you are looking for in your man. Oh. Let it go around, the four of them. Maza, maza. <laughs> no, everybody is speaking. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jesus. <laughs> Two things I was um, looking out for. In the man that I was to spend that I'm that I'm spending the rest of my life with right now, <laughs> the very first thing and the most important thing to me was if he loved God, and I was looking for a love that was beyond religion, beyond religious activities, because of the period I was. I was actually. The period that I was actually proposed to, I was into the character of David, who was a man after God's own heart. So I was looking out for that so vigorously. Um, that was the very first thing. If he loved God genuinely, genuinely. The second most important thing I was looking out for was someone who was willing to was someone who was willing to um, look beyond the physical to help me cultivate and harness the potentials in me. And by the grace of God, <laughs> praise God. Okay, um, there were many qualities I looked out for, truthfully speaking, but I think the two that was really important to me was not just somebody who was a Christian or somebody who feared God, but somebody who had an attentive ear to listen. Not just to me, but to God. The reason being, um, I know that, you know, there might be times where um, issues come up and you would definitely go to the place of prayer. I needed someone who could listen. If the Bible says that, you know, the man is subject to God and then I am also submissive to him, it means that he's someone who has to be led by God. Irrespective of whatever his choices may change, he might see me today and then he loves me because of this or because of that. But because he listens to God, irrespective of those choices that may change, he can be constant to me. So I needed someone who listens, not just to me, but listens to God. So your preferences may change today, but your attentiveness to God can never change. I can always talk to God and report you to him about certain things but because you listen to him you have to comply so it was very important to me that he listens to God and secondly I wanted somebody who was responsible somebody who I could look up to somebody who if I come back today I'm sure that certain things are covered for somebody whom I know can still have my cover who can back me up in so many things. So I needed somebody who was responsible and somebody who listens to God. No, no. Okay. Um, praise God. I think for me, like Dara said, uh, one of the most important qualities that, you know, I really looked out for in man I was to get married is the man who loves God because... He cannot love me right if he doesn't love God. The truth is that he's, he's literally going to be driving me and the children in quotes like a vehicle. 
And if he's not sold out to God, if he doesn't hear God, if he's not, you know, if he doesn't love God, he would definitely drive us into, you know, <laughs> into the bush in quote. And then the second thing is um, a man who understands and respects the principles and tenets of family. I really wanted to, because I really wanted to marry someone who respects family, who knows how to love his wife, love his children, because in training children, it's not what you say to them, it's how they see you behave with their mom, who is their mother. That's, that's, you know, that's how they're going to learn how to treat their wife or their husband or people around them. So it was very important to me that my husband you know, understood how to you know, balance work, balance his ministry, serve God, and at the same time be sold out to me and his children. I do not, I've always been passionate about raising a godly seed, and I don't want to drop one, you know, bomb that will just spoil, you know, add to the already uh, bad fruit on the earth. So yeah, that's that's that. Praise the Lord. Okay, so the first thing I looked out for, just like Dara and Tojo have said, is somebody that loves God. Because if he loves God, then he would be willing to do what pleases God. He would be always willing to do the will of God. And then the next thing would, was a person of character. Because, I mean, I grew up in a Christian and church environment. And I'd seen a lot of people that are anointed and cry, um, Christians, but they didn't have good character or Christ-like character. So character was very, very important to me as well, that you're not just reading the scriptures, but I can see the effect of the scripture in your own life, your personal life yourself. So, yes, those two. Kindly like, subscribe, comment, and share.